Hi, this is Wes Moss, certified financial planner and author of You Can Retire Sooner Than You Think. And I'm here to talk about Social Security because there's a big change coming to Social Security in the year 2022. That's not that far away. Social Security is about to hit a milestone that may impact your benefits, especially if you're still a few decades away from retirement. According to estimates from the Social Security Board of Trustees 2017 report, the year 2022 will mark the first time in 40 years that Social Security will pay out more than it collects in revenue. And the shortfall is expected to continue for years to come. The pot that holds the money for Social Security benefits is called the Old Age Survivors and Disabilities Insurance Trust, that's OASDI. For many years, OASDI has generated more income than it has dispersed. That allowed the asset reserves to grow to nearly $2.9 trillion. Now for the bad news. Here's a breakdown of the deficit forecast for the OASDI. $18 billion deficit in the year 2022. $46 billion deficit in the year 2023. A $75 billion decrease in the year 2024 a $108 billion decrease in the year 2025, and a $143 billion decrease in the year 2026. Add these numbers together, and you'll see that Social Security's reserves stand to be reduced by almost $400 billion in just five years. The trust fund ratio, the percentage of asset reserves in relation to scheduled benefits, will tumble accordingly from 298% in 2017 to only 165% in the year 2026. And the worst news, the trustees report also predicted that the reserve will dry up by the year 2034. So what's going on? What's the answer? Well, the answer is somewhat layered. First, more and more baby boomers are retiring, and there are a lot of them. As they retire, the boomers will create this significant shift in the worker to social security beneficiary ratio in America. Meaning that there just aren't enough new current workers to support the drove of people who will enter retirement in the coming years. Number two, our increased longevity. Back in 1935 when social security was designed or signed into law, people weren't living as long as they do today. The benefits typically supported retired workers for just a handful of years, but since 1960, our average life expectancy in the United States has risen by nine years. According to the CDC, an average 65-year-old in 1960 would be lucky to make it to 80. Today, the average 65-year-old man can expect to live at least another 19 years. And the average 65-year-old woman can expect at least another 21 and a half years. So, we're living longer. We're living healthier lives, which is good for us, but it's stressful for the OASDI, the Social Security Trust Fund. So what does this all mean for you? While it's not good news, it's also not as calamitous as it might seem. Even if the trustees report is accurate and the Social Security asset reserves run out by 2034, this doesn't mean the program will be bankrupt. Social Security is funded in three ways. One, from the 12.4% income tax on any earned income from the first penny you make to $128,400, that's as of 2018, from the interest income earned on its asset reserves, and from the taxation of Social Security benefits themselves. The last two categories I just mentioned, they're small change. In 2016, tax on benefits brought in $32 billion, while interest income generated another $88 billion. But payroll tax garnered a hefty $836 billion dollars or 87.3 percent of the total collected that year so it appears that as long as we keep the payroll tax as the primary funding source for social security as long as americans keep working the program will continue collecting money to distribute to beneficiaries still the potential for a benefit cut to current or future benefits that does exist if Social Security's reserves begin to shrink as projected in 2022, not that far from today, this would signal a loud and clear message that the current payout scheme isn't sustainable. The trustees report also suggests that across the board cuts of up to 23% in 
may be required to sustain payouts through 2091. Let this be a call of action for your retirement plan. If you ask me, it's better to take affirmative action than to wait and see how it goes. Now, there's no harm in counting on Social Security to provide you with supplemental income during your post-work years. But there's a risk if you rely on it to fully fund your retirement. But with prudent planning, you can provide enough of a nest egg for yourself and for your spouse to make sure those benefit checks aren't the only income you're getting in your mailbox each month. Find a trusted 401k provider like Hometown and start funding your 401k today.